Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. This episode's topic is, Prototype Design Pattern. Let's get right to it. We use this Global's Helper class to access frequently used game properties easily. The Input Manager provides the mouse controls. Then we have a Gem Properties class. It has only color for our example purposes. The Gem class represents an entity we will be cloning. The gems bounce around the screen endlessly. Notice it uses the Gem Properties instance. And the Game Manager binds everything together and helps with testing. Let's take a look at what we have as our starting point. We instantiated one gem, and it is moving around. We will want to clone the gem by clicking on it. OK, let's start coding. The prototype design pattern is quite simple. It simplifies instance creation by cloning an already existing one. The usual implementation uses an interface with a clone method. Let's add that interface to the gem class. To implement the clone method, we use the memberwise clone. It is a method inherited from the base object. Let's try it in action using the game manager. We need a list to hold the instances. Add the first gem to the list. And make sure they are all updated and drawn. Now we add the input logic. When the user clicks, we go through the list and find the gem on the mouse position, if any. We make a clone and change its direction so that we can see it and add that check to the update method. Let's see. Clicking any of the gems creates a clone with a random direction. Great. But what if we change the gem properties now? Let's do a quick test. We will change the color of the first gem with a right click. We prepare a few clones. And now, let's see what happens. They have all changed. In some cases, we might want that. But in others, we would like to be able to treat them separately. The memberwise cloning we used is a form of shallow copying. A shallow copy uses the same references as the original. Our gem properties class is a reference type. That is why changing a gem's color influences all the others. They all share one reference to the same data. We need to define a deep clone method. The deep clone method will create a new gem instance. And the gem properties as well. Let's test it. We use deep cloning now. We prepare a few clones first. And after changing the color of one of them, the others stay the same. Perfect. Let me know how you like this episode. You can find the code in the description. Have a topic you would like to see next? Please, share it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.